show how to test fishing line and various fishing knots and that's what we're really interested in to see which knots work better especially when you use a very thin line now the first thing uh, we're using is this uh, weighing scale and uh, it really needs to have a sliding indicator like this so you can read when the line snaps uh, the second uh, thing is we, need a, we use a plywood 18 millimeter plywood which is about three quarters of an inch and uh, this is a strip of marine plywood and you can see a lot of holes where we have experimented with many other things so it's been very useful piece of plywood the rest of the assembly is very simple really you need to hold this down in place and you need to hold it back so it doesn't snap back so what we've done is we've used these simple uh, components first we put this uh, plywood fix it on a workbench or a table now we are tight now what i've done is just use what i had at home and i have the screw so i put this protection on it which is a piece of uh, tubing which we got from a fish tank actually and you install that right there and there it is so that will hold the scale from moving this way now we need the scale to hold it back when moving the other way otherwise it snaps and makes a lot of annoying noise so we happen to have these uh, small nails you can use anything about this size and we had a piece of tubing again this is from uh, some irrigation pipe some irrigation tube like this one or like this one so we just snap a piece out with this very useful scissors oops that's fun there you go and that we use as a as a protection so our scale doesn't get rub on it so here we go so let's put these nails in place first that is a bit of a noisy part that's it then i made these two pieces with, attached with a piece of uh, fishing string just to hold the scale in place again the same thing with the nails there like that yeah so these two nails will hold it from going back this one will hold it from going forward now these two nails would go one is there and the other one here so we can put those before we put the scale that's one sorry Oh. put a washer we put another it. screw also it has a piece of plastic on it and we can adjust it where we want it really this time i put it here so you can see it on camera but i put it farther out to allow some more distance when you make a knot you might have a longer line so. now having put this screw in place uh, make this tube which is made of uh, this one is made I guess from a uh, shower curtain an old one we cut it okay. this way now for this one I added I wanted it to be more tight on the screw if it's here so I put a bit of hose again inside it just found a piece of hose that fits inside I put it there uh, this is a piece of a chopstick which is this one and uh, this is a useful uh, cutter just jam the chopstick in there and just cut it that's pretty useful i don't know where that other piece went uh, this is only so that you can put a line you attach the line here when you turn and uh, just happened i made another uh, there another hole and that would uh, hold you turning the line uh, i kept it purposely they have two of them you can put one and turn it but when the line snaps sometimes it bounces back like a rubber band and could snap you on the hand and that could be a little painful so it's better to have this actually better that you have it a bit lower even so it goes at the same level as this one so now we have this and then we have to adjust this hole 
you have to make the screw smaller. <laughs> right, but you get the idea. So now when it wants to the line, we have to tie it somehow to this one. It's better not to tie it directly to the to the hook of the scale. So I use a swivel. Now this one here is probably not very visible. I'm gonna put this piece so you can see better. And later I'm gonna paint this board or or put some tape on it or something. So now here when you hook this one up. Yeah, you can put whatever line or not your, uh, you intend to use. Then you wrap this here. So I attach this line on this. I would use a uh, improved clinch nut. And that would, uh, it's really, most cases, it's uh, stronger than the line. So I put it on the swivel. I go through this one, through the eye of the swivel twice, like that, instead of once, but twice is better because the line does not snap when you pull it this way on the eye of the swivel, so twice would make it that twice as strong, I suppose. So here we do our improved clinch nut, and I wrap it about five or six times, I hope you can see this. There you go. I like to do when I do this knot, I like to jerk it back and forth so it passes without hurting the line a whole lot. And now we can test the line itself, or we can make a let's say we make a dropper loop. I'm gonna make a short one because I put the screw very close. I'm gonna make it very close to the swivel. Okay, uh, so I make it this way. It's a nice way to make a dropper loop. I'm gonna make it a weak dropper loop, not a very strong one. But you can try whatever you like later on. The nice thing about this rig, really, I mean, you've seen many rigs, everybody can do this easily. But this one is really not as noisy. And what I like about it is this arrangement here, where the line turns on this pipe you can control the rate that you can turn. You see it? Okay, well, take my word for it. Here's a nice dropper loop nut. And out here, I'm going to make uh, just a simple surgeon's loop. Just go for it twice. One, two. So you have a surgeon's loop on this end, just to tie it to this side. And here we put back the swivel and here I'm gonna put the other way put this one there and because you have to turn it turn it a few times put it in there and now you keep turning you can see this one moving from zero you keep turning this one until that line snaps here's the knot you see and usually uh, the improved clinch knot does not break, it's even stronger than the line. This, uh, this knot is supposed to break, and not the line, the knot will be weaker. There you go, this is about 0.4 line mono. There you go, now it's snapped, and you probably can't see this very well, but of course it's snapped at, at the knot exactly, and the reading we got show you how that looks like it's at about 4.4 kilos which is the right top of this one 4.4 4.3 and this scale is in pounds about nine and a half pounds and this is actually the line is rated about eight nine kilos uh, it's about 15 18 pounds so So this is one, so you can put this one on, snap this on this end, and clip this one here, now it has enough friction to hold it in place when it snaps, 
There you go.